All right, all right, let's go. Marvel What If Episode 3. Let's get right into it. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. First scene. Yeah. Tony effing dies. A series of funny jokes and broken legs later. Ahem. Thor effing dies. Arrow to the heart. And 20 seconds later, oh, guess what? A Hawkeye dies too. There's a lot of death here. Coulson is sniffing corpses. Bruce comes out of a closet. Hey, it's Loki. He's in town and he has an army and an icebox. The Hulk is fighting an army and then guess the F what? The Hulk dies as well. He effing explodes. Green everywhere. So I think there's a pattern here. And Black Widow sees it too before she effing dies. And now Fury is close to dropping a nuke, and we all know who that nuke is, Captain Marvel, until he gets a idea. He figures out who it is and then goes to a cemetery. And surprise, surprise, it's Yellow Jacket. And then Fury proceeds to remind us why he's the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. and throws hands with this killer jacket and teleports and duplicates and flies at what the hell is happening? Oh, right, it's, it's Loki. Yeah, Loki's still here. Loki's still doing business. And he helps take Yellow Jacket into custody. Good job, everybody. Well done, well done. Handshakes all around. Oh, and then Loki takes over the world because there are no Avengers. So Fury has to build a new team of Avengers with two captains. But that is a story for another day. And now you tell me what you thought of the different perspectives, differing opinions is what I love. So make the comments your playground and I will go about and put on my lab coat. Yes, I'm wearing lab coats now because I graduated. Technically I graduated at the beginning of the year but it's never too late to celebrate a win. Ta!